Ah, hello. My name is Chris. I've been hanging out here at Camp Bishopswood and I thought it would be great for me to introduce you to some of the friends that I've been hanging out with. Oh, um, this tree wants me to tell you that I, I, by friends, I mean trees. So, um, hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to identify few, a few trees. All right, here we go. One of the nice things about Maine and Camp Bishopswood, which is in Maine, is that we have such a huge diversity of trees. Uh, for example, as I'm just walking here in the forest, I can see here's an, here's an ash tree. Um, here's, here's a maple tree. Um, I'm seeing some American beech trees. Uh, there's a sugar maple. I see some white pine. Um, over there, I see a hemlock. Um, I saw an American hornbeam tree back there. Uh, this red maple tree right there. Huge, so many types. Oh, there's birch trees. Um, yellow birch, gray birch, white birch. Um, and those are just the ones I'm seeing right now. And there's way more that just happen to not you know, be right where I am. So we have tons of types of trees and it's awesome. What's the hairiest kind of tree? A fir tree. There are two main types of trees. One is called deciduous trees and they're also known as hardwood trees sometimes. And they're the ones that typically have um, big leaves like this. This is a sugar maple and it is a deciduous tree, also known as a hardwood tree. And then there's also coniferous trees, like this balsam fir. Coniferous trees get their name because they produce cones. Sometimes people call them evergreens, which is mostly true, um, but there is at least one species of tree in Maine uh, that is a coniferous tree that loses its needles in the wintertime. That's a tamarack tree, but this is a balsam fir tree. Um, coniferous trees are also sometimes called softwood trees. What did the birch tree say to their sweetheart? Would you be my sugar maple? Maine is sometimes called the pine tree state and uh, pine trees are coniferous trees, but not all coniferous trees are pine trees. For example, a spruce tree uh, is a coniferous tree and it has needles, but it's not a pine tree. Um, the state tree of Maine is a pine tree. And in honor of our nickname as the pine tree state, uh, I thought that it would be cool to focus on three different types of trees here, all coniferous trees, uh, the white pine, the balsam fir tree, and the hemlock tree. So let me introduce you. All right, I'm here at the pavilion campsite uh, where we have the three types of trees I just mentioned. Here is a hemlock tree. Here is a white pine. And here is a balsam fir tree. Here's an example of a nice big and tall hemlock tree. One way that I have found is easy to identify a hemlock tree is the fact that the needles are flat. You can kind of see they're, they're flat and they stick out from the sides of the twigs. So flat needles that stick out from the sides. I just said that hemlock trees have needles that stick out from the sides and are flat. Now this can be tricky because you might think this is a hemlock tree because of that, because it has flat needles. You can see they're flat and they stick out mostly from the sides but this is a balsam fir tree. So both balsam fir trees and 
hemlock trees have needles that are flat and stick out from the sides. But one way you can tell the difference using the needles is if you see, I have here a hemlock, a little branch of hemlock in my hand. And if you compare it to the balsam fir tree, you can see that the hemlock needles are shorter. So when you get a sense of that, you can really tell the difference pretty quickly. What's a beaver's favorite kind of cereal? Oak bran. All right, and here we have a white pine tree. And you can see on a white pine tree, it's got kind of long needles. And if you touch them, they're actually pretty soft. They're, they're not gonna hurt you when you touch them. They're, they're, they're nice and soft. Um, so, so that's one way you can tell it's a white pine is if it has kind of soft needles that, that don't hurt you. And they're gonna be, um, they're gonna be long, they're gonna be about two and a half ish inches like that. Um, and one way you can tell is if you pick off a bunch of needles, one bunch, all right, and then I spread them out, I can see that I have five needles in a bunch. Okay, so the word white, W-H-I-T-E, has five letters, and a white pine has five needles. Here we have a cool example of a really big white pine tree. Um, and you might notice that it has some dead branches on the, on the lower part of the tree. And that's because white pines do something called self-pruning. Um, where they stop providing nutrients and growing needles on those branches and only grow needles on the top branches that are closest to the sun and get the most sunlight. Um, and that's on purpose by the tree. So it might look like the lower branches uh, are dead and maybe the tree's unhealthy, but it's actually um, the way white pines live. Some hemlock trees that you might be familiar with are the ones in between Bolster, Tate, and Theo. And you can see here, there's, there's these one that, this one that's split here, and this one right here. Um, these are hemlock trees. Fun fact about hemlock trees is that the needles are poisonous, so don't eat them. Here's an example of a balsam fir tree just next to the dining hall. Uh, Fun fact about balsam fir trees is that they are the most abundant tree in the state of Maine. And sometimes they're tricky because if you see here, the needles aren't sticking out exactly from the side, but if you look at the ones that don't get as much sunlight, they stick out more from the side. So sometimes balsam firs can be a little bit tricky to identify in that way. But for the most part, the needles stick out from the sides of the twigs. All right, here's a little summary of the three trees we've been talking about in this video, the white pine, the hemlock, and the balsam fir. Um, just again, so you can reference the difference between all of them. If you wanna learn more about how to identify trees, the Maine Forest Service releases for free online a guide to the forest trees of Maine, which has helped me learn a lot about how to identify trees, and I definitely highly recommend it. All right, thank you for hanging out today with me and my tree friends. Uh, all the three kinds of trees, the white pine, the hemlock, and the balsam fir, are all very common throughout the state of Maine, so you're pretty likely to be able to encounter one on a walk around your block or down the street or in your local park or if you're near the woods, um, certainly out in the woods. So I definitely encourage you to get outside and make some new friends. Bye everybody, stay safe and healthy. Have a nice day.